Cash is now warning customers to expect longer wait times if they don't tip or tip well. Dashers can see what users leave on their order and have the freedom to accept or reject the offers, meaning your order could sit longer at a restaurant depending on the gratuity. And this is something they're just testing out. What? But there are a lot of questions surrounding yeah. a big conversation around this too. Because basically they can choose if, if there's not a tip or a tip they like, your order will just sit there. It'll just sit there. So there's a big conversation around DoorDash and other companies not really setting this minimum wage for their drivers right. that drivers find acceptable. Uh, but their sales have been growing. So there's this kind of like, okay, well you're making money. Yeah. Your drivers need to make money Just too. pay your drivers rather than make us feel like we have to audition for our food. I feel like now my food's audition for your I'm food. now saying <laughs> that burger is going to have a good home. Bring that burger to me. It's, it's going to be cared for and loved. Well, I don't know if you've seen this, but I have noticed it lately, like even ordering takeout, delivery, coming to the house. Sometimes there's now a delivery surcharge mm -hmm. of $5, yeah. maybe even more, in addition to the, to tip, the tip that you have to yes. provide yep. as well. I've seen that too. So it's just something, it's something else. It, we've got into so many discussions about tipping, but it's really just comes down to people making a decent wage that they can live off yeah, of. Yeah, absolutely. Doing and it goes back to, to and it, this kind of circles back to our parenting topic at the top of the show where we're like, we know we're going to have takeout because we forgot to but feed our children. Forgot, yeah, you know we need to order. We need it. What is the tip that you want? If just you, tell us. If, so you ask, if you ask Emmy how mom cooks, she goes, ring, ring. She ordered. Ring, ring. That's her, yeah, she started doing that at age two. <laughs> Gosh. Well, still to come on Talk Pittsburgh, what about me? The question finds its way into many social media comments, but some say it can be toxic. We're exploring why people fall into this trap when we come back.